Okay, let's look at some of the types of manipulations that we're going to want to do to a set of points. The first few of these are going to help us set up the rotation problem. So if we want to rotate something 90 degrees clockwise, we need to be able to do a couple of smaller operations. Mirroring basically takes every x in, in on the left and translates that to 4 minus x on the right. And the result is mirroring the, the list of points over the uh, about the x equals 2 axis. Similarly, flipping something takes the y's and makes the same type of translation 4 minus y. And basically, when you do that, you're flipping across the, um, I'm sorry, this, this flips across the x equals 2. The mirror flips across the y equals 2 axis. So the last one is called transpose, and it's interesting. What we're actually trying to do is take a shape that looks like this and turn it into a shape that looks like this. And the translation is actually pretty easy, but describing it is hard. We're basically mirroring this across the line that stretches from 0, 0 to 4, 4 on our table. And when you do that, the formula is turns out to be strikingly simple. It's We turn x, y into y, x. And we're going to call that a transpose. And when we build those individual operations, we're going to find that rotating things in units of 90 degrees is surprisingly simple, and we won't need anything like trigonometry to do that. So that's what we'll do next. Let's get coding again. If you're following along, we're going to start building part four. That means if you want to track as you go, you want to pull up part three. So we need to do the four there are the three different operations that I talked about, the mirror, the flip, and the translate. And that's what these, these functions are going to do. So what I'd like to do is have, a, is have three functions, private functions, at the bottom of the file. And a private function is just something that can't be accessed from other modules. And in, if you're an Erlang developer, it basically is a function that doesn't get exported. So. So I'm going to say def p, and I'm going to say translate, or not translate, transpose point. And this is the one where I took an x and a y, and I transpose that to y and x. It's the most difficult one to explain. It's the easiest one to do. It's difficult because it's hard to visualize. We're actually mirroring over the line that goes from x, y of 0, 0 to x, y of 4, 4. So it's sort of a diagonal mirror. And so I'm also going to do a, a I'm also going to do a mirror point. Remember this one is the one that I did uh, that's defined to flip horizontally across the y equal 2 axis. So y is going to say that stay the same. x is going to be 4 minus x. It looks good. And I'm also going to do the last one is called the flip point. And the flip point is going to do the same thing, but instead of uh, flipping on the x, I'm going to flip it across the y. And now I'd like to be able to do these operations to a list of points. So essentially that's going to map over a bunch of functions. So I'm, I'm going to call, I'm going to call a, um, individual functions to map over. And this is what these will look like. So def uh, tran, transpose, and this is going to take points. So then all I really have to do is, is I take, I say enum map, and remember map is going to walk 
over a list of elements from enumerable, that's what enum is for, something that can be enumerated or counted. And it's going to build a new list calling after calling the function on each element in the first argument. So I'm going to start with points. And then actually what we can do is use these in a function. So I'm going to take a function that's x, y, and I'm going to return this. And now I don't need this one anymore, right? So this is going to map over things and do a transpose. And actually, that's a lot to comprehend in the middle there. So I'm going to set this up as just a mini pipe. I know that I'm not supposed to pipe with with simple functions like this, but I find this a little bit easier to comprehend. So I'm going to do that just so I can visually grasp what's going on. It, it, it really pulls out the function that's happening um, right here. And I think that that's the important part of the individual function. So I'm going to do that. So here I'm going to mirror and so this is going to, to mirror to 4 minus x and y, just as I have right here. So now I don't need that anymore. And the last piece is this one right here. Uh, this is going to be a flip. So flipping points is going to be just as easy as doing the same thing that we did here. Now what's nice is that once you have implemented these features, it's easy to rotate 90 degrees. So let's implement that. Def rotate points, or let's say, uh, yeah, let's, let's say by default, points is going to rotate 90 degrees. I'm just calling rotate on points, it's going to rotate 90 degrees. Well, let's take a look at, at, a, um, at a shape or so. So if I start with a shape that looks like this, that's an L shape. And if transposing it does this, let's see if I can get this right. So I'm going to transpose it, and that's going to be x, x, x like that. And so rotating at 90 degrees, it's basically going to, so this is a, um, so this is a, that is a, a what, a transpose. And so if I take that, if I want to get it around to 90 degrees, let's make this a little bit more proper. Right. If I want to get this all the way around to 90 degrees, I'm going to do a mirror. So the mirror takes this guy and does that. Right, and so that is, um, is that the, did I do this correctly? This should be up and over, oh, nope. That is incorrect. So that is like that. Yes. So now, now I know that if I start with a shape like this, to rotate in 90 degrees, I do a, a transpose in a mirror. So let's do this. Let's uh, let us rotate by um, by doing this. So we can start with points. Then I can pipe that into a transpose. And I can pipe that into a mirror. And that gives me a rotation. Now what's interesting is we can also use this rotate 90. Maybe we should actually call this rotate 90. We can use that rotate 90 to, to build recursive rotate degrees, right? So I can say def rotate points degrees. But I'm going to do this recursively. So if degrees is zero, I'm going to say, I'm going to call rotate 90. 
with points. All right? And And now the magic happens. Now I can say rotate and the points to rotate these points. Well, this is too much on one line. Let's try this again. So let's rotate it 90 first, right? So rotate. So I'm going to call points, and then I'm going to pipe that to rotate 90, right? But what are we looking for? Are we looking, uh, but if I want to rotate it 90, so that gives me uh, everything rotated 90. So let's do it this way. So now, so that is actually the points piece. So now I can rotate. This is the points after we've rotated 90. And after we've rotated 90, I can call degrees minus 90. And that should give me a clean rotation through, through any I can rotate in any increment of 90 degrees. And we can actually run a few tests to make that work. But I think that we'll go ahead and try that in the console. And then, um, and then maybe when we come back, we'll write some additional tests. So let's see what that, this looks like in the console. So OK, so now I need to alias. Tetris dot block probably oh it's a brick <laughs> I've got too many Tetris projects going on with too many people and thus the YouTube video right okay so now I have the points so let's get a list of points what's an interesting shape well a Z would be an interesting sh shape, but I like the L because it's asymmetric all the way around. So um, it's going to be a lot harder to fake that one. So let's go ahead and um, and try and see what happens when we um, when we get the points for an L shape. So I want a block dot new, and I can say name is L. I can use that same testing API to give me something predictable. Uh, did I not alias? Oh, brick. Okay, so now I have that, but I want brick.new and I want to pipe that to brick.shape. So now I have points and now I can pipe that to rotate or uh, to points. Rotate 90. Yeah, so this gives, gives me, so let's see if we can imagine what this looks like. So if, if I copy this, if I um, manage this in the editor, I get something that looks like this. So if this is line one, two, three, three, four, I get something that looks like this. So on line two, I have one, two, so I have nothing in space one, and I have something. I have something at um, at two two. No, I have something at one two also, don't I? And then I have um, I have something at three two also, right? And then I have something at one three. Beautiful. So let's. So that is after presumably we've rotated this 90. Let's see what the original shape looks like. So we're going to say 
we're going to look for the uh, another set of points this time we're not going to rotate at 90 we're just going to say brick dot shape and that's going to give me two one two 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 three and three three that's a little bit easier for me to process I don't know about you so two one two two right there three two or two three and three three so there's my shape and then rotating at 90 degrees gives me exactly this so that's beautiful so one of the things that I'm noticing is we're gonna have to be able to render these shapes pretty quickly and we'll do that next but let's go ahead and try to rotate 90 twice let's just do a rough test so we know that um, if we do a um, that a rotating 90 is a lot like that's a lot like so let's flip this so that's flipped and let's mirror this so mirrored is So that's rotated 180, right? So um, we we can get we can get rotated um, 180 another way. So another way to get these points is rotate 180. Let's call this one points two. So if I rotate 90 twice, I get 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 2, 2, 1, and 1, 1. That's not the same, isn't it? So I was expecting that to be the same. So something is up. So let's see what happens if I rotate 0. new brick dot shape so okay so our rotate zero looks to be broken yeah this is not doing what we expect it to so rotate point zero. Oh, yeah what is that that should be points right that's what's broken right so if we're not rotating we just return zero is rotating Okay, let's try that again. So now to get to rotate 180 is this. And um, so rotating 90 twice should give me the same thing. And sure enough, it does. So looks like we have a rough test to do. Um, and we have some ideas for writing our test cases when we come back. But that's a pretty good place to, to stop. And we hope that you're enjoying yourself. So next, we'll write some tests and then we'll... Think about how to render these shapes, and hopefully we'll even try to render them in IEX. Okay, take care, and we'll see you next time. <music>